right. <clears throat> hola, hola. Where's all my beaches at? I know it's Monday and ain't nobody in the mood for shit. <laughs> Hi. Decided to hop on and do a spread for you guys in regards to the DM and how this eclipse energy will be affecting your connection, your divine masculine, etc. Okay. I figured, let me do a live before I take these fucking nails off. <laughs> these nails are getting on my damn nerves now. I get so bored quickly of my sets. I'm like, okay, next. <laughs> so it's like been bothering me, bothering me. Like, do your nails, bitch. Do your nails. So after this live, I'm going to get comfortable put on my Bailey Sarian and watch the makeup and murder mystery. I love her channel. Shout out to Bailey Sarian and uh, you know, redo my nails. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. It's going to feel so like empty once Christmas is over. I'm like, what am I going to do to you? I'll think of something. Let me turn on my incense. Okay. So, I have a few decks out that we will be using for the spread. And yeah, oh my God, let me fix my robe because I'm gonna get cold and then hot and then cold. That's just how I am. Whatever. Anyways. Okay, let me put this over here. Turn on the tiny little fireplace right here and let's get popping. So I'm going to start by pulling cards for my new deck. My um, masculine tarot. This is the Mafia Gangsta version, or, or themed. <laughs> now available in my Etsy shop, along with my other two that I just released, which is my Lover's Tarot and my Amorous Hunger Oracle. All right, my loves, don't forget to, uh, don't forget to check out the coupon that I posted in the community tab on my channel where you guys can get $15 off of your purchase, whether it's an entire purchase or if you guys wanna purchase my decks individually to get $15 off each purchase, you can do that as well for extra savings. Um, the sale will be running from now until the 26th of December. So you guys can get your extra December holiday savings. My way of saying I love you bitches. So don't forget to apply the coupon code, which is HOLIDAY15, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what is up with the DMs. La, 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 la. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, all right, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, love, for the super chat. Bless you. Ooh, there goes one. What do we have here? The oh, bitch! We got the Knight of Swords. Look at that! So, apparently, somebody has something to say. Divine Masculine has something to say. It could be triggering your DM. Okay. Now, I don't want to say he's gonna be like triggered to reach out, or something might bother him to a point where he has to reach out and be like, "What's up with this shit?" Or, "Hey, we need to talk." It could be anything. So let's see what's up with this energy. up with the divine masculine what is it that he wants to communicate with the divine feminine about 
for green hem. Oh, shit. The Ten of Swords, yo. Okay. D Divine Masculine could be going through some painful endings right now. For some, it could be that maybe you find out that this DM left a car current karmic partner. Okay. And they're like, I'm tired of the betrayal. I'm tired of the energy that I'm with my karmic partner. For those that have a karmic. It could also be that something happens where you and your DM, for those that are in communication, you and your DM might have some type of discussion that will end certain things. Okay. And, uh for something new to begin. Remember the Ten of Swords is the worst is behind you, right? It could have been that something happened in the past and now it's like, maybe let's talk about what happened in the past. And for some of them, it could be they're ending things with a current karmic or they're just going through some uh, horrible times right now. So let's see what else. Okay. Damn, Ten of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles. You see the worst is behind, that's good, I'm glad. It could also have something to do with uh, their family life or maybe perhaps their career. Okay, so if they weren't doing so hot financially, maybe they weren't uh, very uh, motivated enough to communicate or they just weren't, you know, they, were, they weren't feeling at their best. They were very insecure. And now that things are picking up financially, they're able to, they have the, mo the more confidence to, you know, put themselves out there for you. Let's see what else. Look at that girl smoking. I love the cardstock to this deck because I've tried I tried something different with my deck, and I did it in linen cardstock. You know the ones that have the like I don't know if you could see it, but it has like the little lines on there, and it feels so good. I'm like ooh, new obsession. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this is this is about something that took a very fucking long time. Someone took a risk. He could have took a risk and he had to lose some to gain some is what I'm picking up here. And looks like the DM took that risk. Maybe he maybe he ended up losing you or whatever along the process. But now I feel like there's a re restoration of um, whatever it is that this masculine has lost. Ooh. The hermit. Okay. Hermit, this is also Virgo energy. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo masculine or maybe you're Virgo, but it could be that your masculine is in hermit mode. Perhaps they have been just keeping to themselves and focusing on their hustle. Maybe that's why things are slowly picking up for them, which is a really good, a really good thing. So for some, I feel like perhaps you will be receiving a message from your DM saying there is changes that are happening within their life and they might want you part of it. Okay. Yeah. Making a choice to a swords. This DM is at a crossroad, crossroads right now trying to make that decision. Should I communicate with her and let her know what's going on or what my plans are? You know, should I, for some, I'm picking up that they want to start a business with you or communicate something with you about a business, um, something that might take a while to manifest, but it'll get there. Oh, shoot. I mean, they don't have to be a Virgo, guys. Um, the just, you know, the, that card is, represents Virgo. And I just like to say them as they come out. We have the page of cups. Oh my God. So this page, page of cups here is an, is it about an apology, right? Maybe I should apologize for how I was acting. Maybe I was fucking rude. Maybe I was being a jerk and an asshole and very under, not understanding my divine feminine. She didn't deserve that. Maybe I feel like I need to explain myself. So I feel like that's why the Knight of Swords is the first card that came out. And now that we have the Page of Cups here, there could be some type of apology or it could be as simple as I miss you or let's talk, you know? You know what I mean, Chili Bean? We got the Death card, boom. Again, with the Ten of Swords energy. See? Transformation. Something out of end for something new to begin, bitch. So it could be that 
if they had a karmic, there's a separation going on between them and the karmic, and it was not pretty, okay? And now it's like, I'm free to be able to be with you. It's like, it's our turn now, I'm hearing. And for others, it's like, I had to go through these changes and be at my best so that I have something to bring to the table. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe it took a while, Seven of Pentacles. But it's something's worth, I'm hearing something is worth waiting for. Okay. Oh, we get the Hierophant, bitch. Yes. And it's funny because be, because we have the Hermit card here. I'm like stuttering right now. Because we have the Hermit card here and the Hierophant. Like your DM has been getting a lot of advice from the wise ones around them. Like it could be, you know, a pastor. It could be their great grandfather or their father or their uncle that's very spiritual or very religious, especially when they were going through not so hot, you know, hot times and they were in a really dark negative phase. Um, there could have been family that influenced them really badly and they knew they had to turn to someone they can trust to get the best advice for themselves. And they took that and because of that, they, they are doing a little bit better than they were before. Which is good. Motherfucking time, right? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, female. Okay, you could be the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Isn't the eclipse um, in the sign of Sagittarius? That's crazy how Sag came out here. Um, the fire sign energy came out here, so... It's kind of like you could be drawing them in right now with your with your creative energy um, and feminines. With this energy, you will be feeling euphoric. Something about the energy is going to make you feel like very creative. I mean, fuck, look at my ass. I haven't been able to sleep. I've been waking up at five o'clock in the morning, which I never fucking do. I'm like, bitch, who this? Who this be? What did you do? To, what did you do to my old self? <laughs> Sleeping in at 10, 10, 10 o'clock in the afternoon. Bitch, I'm up at five o'clock in the morning working, working on my projects, doing work, and then doing Etsy orders. So that's what I mean, like, and then posting on social media. But that's what I mean, feminist. That's the that's the queen of wands energy where you're going to be motivated. It's gonna feel natural to you. Don't fight it. Because when you do that, you'll feel that I'm being, I'm being set back. I'm being held back when you do that. That energy is here to, for you to flourish, to embrace. Because that is what your divine masculine is going through. And that's what's pushing him to do better himself as well. And you'll feel that pull. You'll feel that good energy. Because shit, there's times where I'm like, oh my God, I, I, I need to go lay down. And as soon as I lay down, bitch, five minutes later, it's like my bed was a charger or something. I'm like, what the hell? I was, I was tired as fuck. Now I want to go back into my room and work again. So it's like, what the hell? So I'm just, I'm just saying like these energies could be feeling a little bipolar, but I think it's trying to adjust. Um, I think your body is just trying to adjust to the new energies, which is why we have the death card here. And I feel like your divine masculine is also going through this too. So if they have been really stressed about money, Perhaps certain jobs have not been going through for them, especially if they own their own business and construction or whatever, and they were stressed out, they needed to pull out loans and stuff like that. All that is going to be balanced out again. And so they're going to be feeling much better. Oh, shit. Okay. Queen of Swords. Look at, why do I feel like this is karmic energy? Yes, it could be an air sign karmic. Some of them could have been dealing with a, uh, an air sign karmic. Others, it could represent you where everything you guys went through, it put you in your, it forced you to put you in your queen of swords energy where you weren't going to, ha you're, you weren't going to put up with their fuckery. If, if you got offensive about them, you weren't going to deal with their bullshit if they weren't in the right state of mind. You know, before back in the day, maybe you're a little bit like, okay, cool. But now you're like, no, no. And so they see that they see not to fuck with this, this energy in you. 
Now others, the karmic part of it, I see like there could be a karmic partner here that became a mega bitch. And your masculine saw that. Maybe he saw this karmic was holding him back financially and, and in love. And then he just felt like, a, like the slingshot was pulled back. And he always felt like it was about to take off, but it never happened. And so he had to do something himself in order for that shit to be released. And that's the energy that's being, you know, um, transformed right now. So that's pretty damn interesting. But Okay, we have the seven of cups. Okay, seven of cups. Look at him thinking, thinking, thinking. And also with the um, two of swords here. Which choice should I make? Which direction should I go? Um, too many options. Should I should I approach the situation like this? Should I start that new job now? Should I move locations now? Should I do this now? Should I speak up about this now? You know, it's so many things going on right now. And I think that is why they're in hermit mode and getting that advice that they need from um, the wise ones. It's, I'm gonna call them the wise ones, right? <laughs> Getting advice. <laughs> Let's get one more and then we'll move on. Thank you. Nope. They're like, nah, bitch. Two more. Okay. We have, ooh, bitch. <gasps> what are the odds if these two cards came out together? The moon and secret lovers. Okay. I think this is why something ended between divine masculine and a karmic partner. If there's a karmic partner involved for those that have one. Um, or is dealing with a DM that has one, okay? It could have been that either she found out about you, feminine, or he could have confessed something, or the masculine found out about a secret love affair with this karmic, and that created havoc, erased hell, and this could have been like, this could have been like the DM on, on the phone or, or in person with, with the karmic, like, it's over, B! Look at how he's yelling on the phone right here. <laughs> Like, she straight up stuck a knife through his damn heart, mouth. Through the mouth, down to the heart. Like, uh-uh. Yeah, some, something like that happened. And I feel like it's connected to this, this Queen of Swords energy. Whether she's an air sign or not, I'm also seeing water energy too. Okay, so, yeah, there could have been a secret love affair that the karmic was engaged in and DM found out about it. Probably because the karmic saw that the DM wasn't at his highest um and she decided to cheat right she took advantage of the situation oh lord yeah oh my god bottom of the deck unhappy couple uh, they karmic saw that the masculine was not happy at all okay he they got tired of being in a relationship they were not happy in and something had to end. And so this whole time, this karmic could have been having a secret love affair. And that's what is being exposed. That's what came out, which is the moon, which is connected to the moon card here. And that is all being exposed because of the eclipse energy here. So, oh shit, this is getting juicy, bitch. Woo. Yes, yes, I see water energy too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, especially the death card here is Scorpio, okay? And I also see fire, okay? So, all right, let's put this aside. Let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards from the Within My Head Oracle deck, okay? Cleanse that, baby. I see myself being the father of our future children. Holy shit. It's like I'm hearing, you know how Mariah Carey for like Christmas and Halloween, she was like, it's time. That's what I'm hearing with this. Like if you guys spoke about having a family or starting a family, 
I feel like they're entering a phase where they're ready. So that's what I'm hearing. It's time. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need a sip. Okay. Oh man, let's see. What else? I'm too stubborn to give in to I'm too stubborn to give in to you. Look at that. Maybe this is what this is what the energy has been like, right? I'm too stubborn to give in. I don't want to do it. I'm not up for this. I'm not ready. And now it's like, oh, I'm thinking about children. Like what? Because now you you're entering the Ten of Pentacles energy. Yeah, like this is connected to the I'm too stubborn. Here it says I pretend that nothing was bothering me was or is or whatever so and it's like they're on both cards they're wearing shades here some of them are still hiding which is funny because the hermit card came out right let's see what else please allow me to love you again see it's like forgive me and that's like the page of cups energy forgive me allow me to love you again let me do it right this time Shit, and look, he's in bed alone. It's time. Oh my God, I just said he's in bed alone, bitch. It says no one else is sleeping next to me. I'm telling you, this is juicy. Girl, girl. See, I'm telling you, a lot of them are not with the, the Carmex anymore. They have, maybe they didn't tell you, maybe they broke it off. You could be sitting there thinking they're still together and they're probably not. He's sleeping alone in bed for whoever these masculines are for, right? Oh man. I have my back turned because I can't face you. For some, it's I have my back turned because I couldn't face you before. And I acted like I didn't care or nothing bothered me. And I was too stubborn to give in to you. Damn. Yep. That, that was a very freaking frustrating energy right there. Ha! Huh? I miss your sexy photos. I'm telling you, like, I you know how many met dms i've gotten from my feminines talking about hey they just rolled me out of nowhere saying you know i miss you or send me a picture you know and it's funny that this card came out because i'm like shut the fuck up <laughs> it could be staring at your photo or actually wanting an updated a picture right <laughs> Like, why you want my picture for? You trying to do juju on me, Divine Masculine? With your warlock ass. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I'm still very much in love with you. See? Allow me to love you again because I'm still very much in love with you. So, I mean, hello. What does that tell you, darling? What does it tell you? Two came, oh, three came out. Look at this shit. Oh, look at this. I like the attitude that you carry, right? Especially if you're in your queen of wands, queen of swords, energy, bitch. You're like, don't tell me what to do. I let no one tell me what to do. I just saw 110 right now too. <laughs> Interesting. And so here it says, I know I'm stuck in my ways, but I don't know how to fix it or I didn't know how to fix it either which was these three cards that we pulled earlier. Ay, Dios mio, man. My queen, no one else will take your crown. So if you were worried that, oh, this, this karmic thinks she's the feminine, or maybe I should give up because he's never leaving this karmic. Honey, he said, you know, it doesn't matter who I'm fucking with. If I know you're special and divine for me, no one's going to take that crown away from you. Nope. They can't do it. <laughs> Let's get a room and fuck. <laughs> oh, honey, they will be 
so sexually depleted, they're going to be turning to you like almost in a way begging because if they haven't had sex in a while because something's ending, it's going to it's going to only be a matter of time until they're going to want to get up in it. Okay? Trust me. They're going to especially if you guys are at a distance from each other like let's let's just meet each other up. No big deal. Let's get a room, you know, you know, bound chicka wow wow type of situation. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's how it's going to be like. Expressions from the heart. And it says, I still, I still want you. Look at that. Yeah, see? I, I still want you because I'm still very much in love with you. So you be, could be receiving a message stating that. Or it could be an actual face-to-face uh, -face reminder from them. And I'm hearing sealed with a kiss. So it could be that they say something and then they kiss you. Whether it's on the forehead or on your cheek. I'm hearing, okay, we'll meet up. We'll see where it goes. We'll see. You all acting like tough shit. But you fucking shaking in your boots. Like, oh my god, I gotta go shave my coochie. <laughs> I gotta go do this and that. <laughs> do I need to go get a new perfume, bitch? <laughs> like, at first you're like... No, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to give in. Nope, nope, nope. And then as soon as the hour comes, they're like, oh my God, what am I going to wear? Bitch, where am I? Where are my stockings? Shit, shit. And you're fucking busting a sweat, needing to take a second shower because you're all sweaty and shit. And you're like, oh my God, having a melt mental breakdown, laying down and you're like, that's it. I'm not going. And then after 10 minutes, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Just like the Grinch. That's it. I'm not going. <laughs> I love when the Grinch says that. It's my favorite part. Getting ready in front of the mirror and then he's like, that's it. I'm not going. <laughs> oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Okay. Let's move this aside. <laughs> yep. Got to buy them sexy panties. Exactly. <laughs> So I'm going to use my what's up oracle. Let's see what comes through. What is going to be up with these DMs? Oh my God. I, I hope that that bipolar emotions energy don't come out. If you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all saw that, that um, post that I did using these cards where the DM is like, like I want to see or I, I forgot how it goes and then like it's like hey we we need a break I'm not returning and then the very last card is like I changed my mind that shit was so fucking hilarious I'm like what the fuck was that <laughs> so we'll see what comes through all right this up at the dm Oh, shit. Do you see how that flew on my lap? <laughs> you mad, bro? <laughs> they could feel that you're hella mad at them right now. <laughs> well, yeah, because you're like in and out. You can't make up your damn mind. They got some bipolar tendencies, these DMs. I'm telling, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, and then they have the audacity to ask you if you mad. You mad, bro? <laughs> no, I am not mad. <laughs> oh my gosh I swear take them back to mom I'm gonna drop you off at your mama's house stop <laughs> we have down to earth okay mm -mm. to me I feel like that down to earth card here is um, their energy has been shifting so maybe they've been getting into things more than um, perhaps their activities are changing. Um, maybe they want to be more outdoors and running and exercising outdoors, trying to ground themselves more and do right with their bodies. What is this? We also have not what it seems. So maybe, maybe that's why they're asking you mad, bro, because something that maybe perhaps you got mad about or jumped to conclusions about, you know, you got jumpy too soon, divine feminine. It's like, yo, it's not what it seems. 
okay it's not what it seems i didn't i didn't mean this that wasn't that whatever it was something will be clarified we have oh big flirt that's what it was maybe perhaps you caught them flirting with somebody on social media or at work or wherever and or maybe you thought they were flirting or maybe that's just their persona or they're, they have some type of charisma or whatever. And they're like that with everyone. But you took it the wrong way and you're like, oh, fucking hell no. <laughs> and they're like, hey, it's not what it seems. You still mad at me? You, you still down for me? <laughs> so it's like, you got some explaining to do, bro. Okay. Who's Barbie want to lick you up and down? One, four, four. Who, who's this bitch? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, thinking of what to say to you because I'm scared as shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, ooh, what am I going to say to her? She's mad. I can feel it. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, dangerously in love. Ooh, ooh, the dangerously in love card. <laughs> mm. I feel like the situation's about to get a little dangerous. <laughs> They're like, I, I can't approach her right now. She's a little dangerous. She a little too dangerous for me right now. <laughs> let me let me come towards her with the puppy. Oh, they're gonna, oh, bitch. They're gonna act slick as fuck too. They know you're gonna be all mad and shit. Like, let me come through with a little gift. Merry Christmas. Oh, look, uh, we're under the mistletoe. And you're sitting there like, I'm still mad at you. <laughs> But then you can't resist their charm and you're like, I hate you. Ugh. Then you start to get, a, a, you know, a few little drinks and then suddenly you're smiling and you're looking at them all dead serious. Like, so what were you saying? And then shit just got real serious. <laughs> I can pick. Oh, who's this hidden lover that you got? So you, you weren't going to tell me that you had a hidden lover. I had to see this shit for myself. Oh, man. And it's pretty funny that this hidden lover card came out because what did we have in the masculine tarot? The the secret love affair card came out. Remember? Ooh, girl. Mm. Ooh, shit. Yeah, maybe some of them, it probably, for some, it was the DM. Others, it was the karmic. Pissed off. Yep. You know what I'm also picking up is that perhaps they could be a little pissed off because they could have found out you were secretly seeing someone because you knew they were secretly doing some fuck shit or whatever, right? So you guys are both back and forth, like <laughs> being childish as fuck. Who, who is this? <laughs> I want to know who this is. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> oh, it's the best song. I want to hear from you. Which is which is why we had the Knight of Swords at the beginning in the Masculine Tarot. Because he wants to hear from you and communicate. He don't want to be mad. That's why he's like, are you still mad? You mad, bro? You still pissed off? It's not what it seems. Let me communicate something to you with you. But like, I don't know what to say to you now. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Bottom of the deck. No, that was not meant. It, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Oh, it could make sense. Just looking for, just looking for a good time. This hidden lover or this me, me flirting with this hidden lover, whoever you were flirting with masculine, maybe he was just having fun. Maybe it was just all for laughs. Ha ha. So fucking funny, right? Feminine eye, ooh, I could just see the smoke coming out your nostrils. Like, oh, I thought that was really hilarious. <laughs> you weren't having, you weren't having it, hunty. Whatever it was, either it had happened already, or something like that done happen or about to happen. My hands are freezing. Goodness gracious! Hold on. Oh, man. It feels like a morgue back here. 
<sighs> okay, enough, enough, enough. So let's pull some cards from the Divine Masculine Unspoken Messages. So what are the words that they want to tell you? What are the words unspoken? We'll get into that and then we'll use the Unspoken Messages Volume 2. Let's see. It hurts me to see you walk away, girl, girl. See, it hurts me to see you walk away because I didn't give you the attention or closure that you deserve, okay? For some, maybe you're the one ending it. And you're like, no, I, I don't want this. And it could be because maybe somebody else motivated you along the way. Maybe you found somebody else that motivated you to let go. And you were hoping and wishing that that would happen because holding on was just too much and they weren't fucking getting it. Don't feel guilty. I'm hearing don't feel guilty because that's what needed to happen for you to get your strength back. That's not going to be for everybody. Ooh. So it says my emotions are just in retrograde right now. Take caution. Okay. So that pissed off energy that we had, if they're pissed off because you moved on to someone else and their emotions are in retro, it's like, damn, I, I don't even know what to say to her. I'm pissed off. You're pissed off. Like... We both feel the tension. What do we do? I don't know what to say. Damn. I feel like you get way too emotional sometimes and I can't handle it. So maybe you're the type that gets way too emotional when you get upset. Okay, you get upset, you get angry, you get jumpy, you don't let them talk. You're quick to shut them out. And it's like, I, I can't even talk to you. And that leads to even further more silent treatments and, and non-clarity. And here it says, you're the first one I think of when I close my eyes. Daddy misses those lips. Oh, now they're trying to be slick. Yeah, I've been thinking about you. You're the, you've been the one that I've been thinking about when I close my eyes. You don't think daddy misses them lips? I just didn't tell you, right? That could be some shit that they're experiencing or have been experiencing. My angels are guiding me towards a better future, and I definitely see you in it. Mm-hmm. See? I'm telling you, they saw they they want to start something fresh. They're hoping that this upcoming new year, it's like you know, people using the new year for new shit. But another day, right? I feel like this new year is like, I want a clean slate. I want a clean slate. But I'm also hearing that's not going to happen because <laughs> they're still going to be surrounded by the same old people doing the same old thing, but they're just going to be doing it and handling shit differently. That's what it is. And then here it says, life wasn't always good to me, my love. I've had it pretty rough. I'm just trying to hold on. And that's what they have been doing, right? With that 10 of swords energy, the life has been hard. And I've struggled to find a stability or whatever they were struggling with. Because not all of them were. I low-key don't want you to be with anybody else while I'm figuring out my shit. And that is why. It's like they low-key didn't want you to move on to anybody else. And they saw that you did. And so now they're like pissed off about it and upset about it. Oh my god, I'm freezing. It's like I'm getting these cold flashes ah! hold on okay alright I need my chapstick where's my chapstick Have you guys been experiencing like supernatural like activity lately? I've been seeing a lot of videos and people like experiencing some stuff like that. And the other day, let me tell you, hold on. The other day when my husband was in the garage listening to music, working on his uh, Nova and everything, um, I was in here. And my daughter was at the store. And so 
I thought that loud scream that I heard was from the song he was playing. But then he walks in, he goes, did you just scream? And he goes, I'm like, no, I didn't. He goes, who screamed? I said, I don't know. I thought it was your song. He goes, no, I heard it coming from the inside. And I was like, I don't know. Maybe it was a ghost. <laughs> and so he was like, where's Daisy? And I'm like, oh, she's at, you know, she's at the store. And so I was like, whatever. I didn't pay no, you know, attention to, to that or anything like that. And before that, my daughter and her boyfriend were in the, in the living room and I was in here working and she comes in and she goes, what mom? And I mean, I'm not, and I'm like, what do you mean? What? And she goes, you just screamed my name to come here. And I said, honey, I've been working on my project and I'm quiet. I didn't scream or anything. She goes, what the hell? She's like, I swear I heard you loud and clear, like call my name. I said, uh-uh. And that's happened a few times where my husband will tell me, I just heard you call me. I'm like, uh-uh, it ain't me, hunty. <laughs> Unless there's another me. <laughs> but it ain't me. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just like little weird stuff like that happen. And then my father-in-law claims that my 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 uh, house is haunted because when he sleeps in my daughter's room, like he hears stuff. And people who sleep in her room like hear stuff. And she's even seen her like door open and her drawer open. But I think it's her grandma. You know what I mean? I, I feel like it's her grandma. And not only that, like the veil is very thin right now. So certain things like that will happen and you can't be afraid of it. You know, you can't be afraid of it. I like to embrace stuff like that because I think it's cool. And I feel like it's confirmation that, you know, a lot of things about the spirit world is real. So to me, I think it's an awesome experience as long as you don't allow yourself to get scared. And as long as you don't feel negative energy or anything from it, I wouldn't worry. You know, a lot of people think like, oh, my God, that's moving. It's 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 evil. It's evil. Like, bitch, how do you know you ain't per you ain't making that move with your mind and you don't even know it? Like embrace your gifts if you have that shit. You know, like, how do you not know? Like, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm open-minded. Anyways, let's get back to the read. It was totally off topic. Maybe the Divine Masculine is going through some type of supernatural phenomena or they've been experiencing some stuff like that. Who knows? Uh, here it says, I know I hurt you and I try to pretend like that doesn't affect me emotionally, but deep down it does. It kills me. And that's interesting that this card came out because remember in the Divine Masculine within my head deck, how it said that, you know, um, they acted like nothing was affecting them, right? Remember it said that? I pretend like nothing is bothering me. And that's so that that's confirmation right there that it was bothering them, but they would they just played it off really good. They just played it off real well. And I know because a lot of my feminines who get readings from me, you get frustrated because you're like, oh, I'm over here having a meltdown and a breakdown and they're over there acting like nothing is happening. How do they not feel like that? How do they, how are they not freaking out like I am? And I'm like, honey, they, they are. They just they, they show it differently. You know, they just show it differently than we do. So others show it in anger, agitation, stress. Others show it by being a jerk or needing attention from others because they're hurt. So it just, it really just does depend. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull some from Unspoken. Volume 2. See what comes through. Here we go, darling. Damn, see, this is what had happened. This is what had happened. It says, I, I was, I'm was, i emotionally unstable and I didn't want you to know. Or financially, I'm sorry. Maybe it is emotionally unstable. It came out the way it came out. For some, it's emotionally. For others, it's financially. And I think it took them a long time to get out of this energy. And now that they're in the Ten of Pentacles or walking into the Ten of Pentacles, they're going to feel a lot more confident. So that's insane that, that that came out. You freaked out over a praying mantis? <laughs> Girl, you're like, burn the whole building. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah, look, I block and then unblock you from social media. How many times has this happened? Like, wait a minute. Uh, they literally just liked my photo fire, which, and then afterwards, they block me. I don't get it, honey. They're bipolar, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is what I mean. Like, <laughs> when you don't understand things, it's because they're cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. They just are very indecisive. So it there's a lot of things that they do that just does not make sense. Like, yo, we were just talking about meeting up. We were just talking that I still feel the same for you and you still feel the same for me. And then you go and block me like, what kind of fuck shit is that? Was I talking to your alter ego? Was that really you? Was that your clone? Was that your spirit? Like, who the fuck was I just talking to? <laughs> be like put that person back on the phone <laughs> they could get a little uh un they can be a little unbelievable that's all i'm saying the universe keeps reminding me that we belong together who else am i gonna lean on when times get rough i'm telling you like they're getting these downloads from spirit that they have to make, they have to do the honorable thing. I'm hearing they, they feel that urge to do the honorable thing. Oh my God. I am turning into a snowman right now. Hold on. <laughs> Bitch, I gotta go. I'm like, I'm frozen. Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to shuffle on and be like, <laughs> we belong together. Something flipped. No, I didn't. I thought it flipped. Dude, I had some weird dreams. Who else have been having like weird ass fucking dreams? Like last night I had a dream the world was ending. It was like so weird. I know I'm totally off topic again. There I go foaming at the motherfucking mouth. This is what I do. <laughs> there I go foaming at the mouth. I had a dream my ass would be up in the fucking Starbucks line in my damn dream when the world is ending, bitch. Like <laughs> find me in Starbucks line. Like let me get my latte before I die. <laughs> Well, anyways, I was there waiting for my latte in the Starbucks line. And then you see like government officials or I don't know who the fuck they were, men in black or whatever. They start putting that, um, the caution tape everywhere. And they were sending like everybody home. Like, oh, y'all need to go. You guys need to go home. Um, they were kicking everybody out of like the city. Like you, you need to leave the city or leave the state. Something's about to go down. Like it was weird. And then my cousin, my cousin Israel was there. I need to tell him the story too. Uh, he just popped out of nowhere. And I get in the car with him and, and we go to my, my aunt's house. And it's a different house, like up in the mountains. And it's in a different like city or state or country. It's just so weird. And um, it's up in the hill and I'm trying, I take a peek outside because Everybody was afraid to go outside because the outside was spooky. It was just weird. And then I start seeing all these holes in the ground as I'm hopping. I don't know. Maybe I was a kangaroo or some shit. I was like fucking hopping and shit. Like, oh my God, I'm going to fall into the holes. What it, oh, and then I start thinking about snake holes and shit. And then I see the city and I'm like, oh my God, it's coming. So I run back. I don't know what the fuck I saw, but I saw something coming. And then I went inside and I told my aunt and my uncle was looking at me like I was psycho. And he was, he was saying something to make fun of me or whatever. And then I, I don't remember how it ended. And that's all I remember. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I had been having the weirdest damn dreams lately, you know? I'm like, what the, of course I am going to remember the Starbucks part, of course, but come on now. <laughs> Did I read this one? No, it says, I'm sorry I snapped at you. Please forgive me. Ooh, maybe that's why they're asking if you're still mad. Maybe that's why they're asking if you're still mad. It's because they could have snapped at you. Like a little snapping turtle, right? Just like it shows in the masculine tarot, the guy yelling on the phone. They could have said some shit to you and you're like, boy, click. Or you're like, fuck off or block. I'm done, whatever it is. And that's why they're like, you still mad, bro? because of what they said or did. Damn. Well, hot diggity down. 
Well, well, well. Meeting you awakened my kundalini. Look at that. Something about them meeting you really it impacted them severely. I'm hearing it, it was just too much. Everything. It, it, it just hit them like a pile of bricks. Imagine. Imagine. You imagine. Okay, this is like. Okay, let's say for instance we die. We die. And then when we wake up. We're literally like plugged into a machine, like in the matrix. And you're like, what the fuck? What, what, what the, and you're just trying to take it all in that it's kind of like that for them, right? Something was awakened or the changes that they're going through. They're trying to adjust and adapt. And it's like, what the fuck? It's too much. I'm going crazy. It could be some shit like that. Like I got answers. What are these signs? What does this mean? Just like when you, just like you did divine feminine, when you first started your journey, right? And there's going to be moments that you have like that too. Like, oh my God, it, I feel like I'm not from this world. I feel like I, I need to go home. Like, I feel like my home's calling me, but I don't know where home is. Like, I feel like I don't belong here. That's something that I felt during my extension. And it was tough. It was tough. I remember working out. I remember because this is back in the day when I was a huge workout freak. Don't ask me now. But back in the day when I would, you know, work out and stuff, I would literally lay there lifting weights crying because I'm like, I feel like I got to go home. And I didn't know where home was. It was. It's just you get into that mode, into that energy. And it's a tough, it's a tough thing to adapt to. It really is. Okay, so here it says, I understand what you need with that you having to say it. This is the connection that it, it's going to come to that. Pretty soon it's going to be like, damn, I know what you need. Thank you for your super chat. Thank you, Liz. Did I see, was it Liz? Yes, thank you, hon. <clears throat> Pretty, it's going to come down to that where they're going to have such an attachment to you on a positive level that they're going to... <clears throat> literally pick up on what you're feeling and thinking without you having to say a word. They're just going to know. Like, it's like them coming to your house at four o'clock in the morning because they know you're up. They're like, I figured you'd be up. Here's your coffee. And you're like, the fuck? Who, who sent you? What? What's this? <laughs> it's like that type of energy. Ah, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Waking me up for coffee? Oh, hunty, yes. And then you're like, okay, thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Queen of Swords will be like, thank you, goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God. That's too That's too much. And then the Queen of Pentacles will be like, well, what are you doing here? Are you hungry? Where's your coat? You didn't come with a coat. Are you trying to get sick? <laughs> oh my god and then the queen of cups would be like sobbing like I, I i was just going through a hard time and you came at the right time the queen of wands would be like come on let's climb in bed let's let's get it on let's get it on real quick <laughs> oh instantly honey instantly <laughs> oh my god okay let's go ahead and pull some let's end that pull some festive cards why the fuck not why the fuck not okay i'm gonna use my christmas love oracle and my snowflake oracle <clears throat> so let's see what comes through and then i gotta go do something with these nails man Whew. <gasps> winter wedding it's the most wonderful time. Some of you guys might get proposed to or somebody might get proposed to. If you're going to a wedding, you might meet someone there too. Okay. Or if there's a wedding coming up, let's say on your end or their end, somebody, you're either going to invite them or they're going to invite you or you just will be proposed to in, in the next few days or something's being planned. It could be planned. For whoever that's for. Because obviously it's going to be for everyone, right? Oh my God! Spirit has something special for you. 
I mean, this came out right after Winter Wedding. Shut the front door. What? Ekumi? The holidays are better when I'm with you. <laughs> don't those don't those look like boobies? <laughs> like the chichis. <laughs> They'll be like the holidays are better when I'm with you. <laughs> oh my god, face all up in your breast and shit. <laughs> like give me some of your eggnog. <clears throat> Somebody wants to spend the holidays with you. Ooh. Fun with friends. Look at this. Some of you ladies are going to be or are, are planning or have been doing some festive things with your homegirls this holiday. And I bet you guys are using your kids and your nieces and nephews to go do some festive stuff. So you have an excuse to go see the lights outside and go get hot chocolate and all that shit. And then you're posting cute pictures because you know your person's watching like, oh my God, am I skating with, with, with Snoopy? Kids, say hi. But the, yet the camera's just on you. <laughs> you're like kids are you having fun and you're like showing your breast <laughs> girl quit playing we know what you're doing <laughs> quit your playing <laughs> damn <clears throat> what do we have here i still have hope for us see the little gingerbread oh have you guys heard that song from melanie uh melanie martinez I need a gingerbread man, do 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 do, a gingerbread man. Oh, girl, I love that song. Some of you guys could be singing, I need a gingerbread man, or your divine masculine is going to be your gingerbread man. He wants a gingerbread cookie, that's for sure. Yeah, look, sweet tooth, get in my mouth. <laughs> You're like, get in my belly. <clears throat> Feminines, you have a sweet tooth. And it's funny because look at this shit. You're craving the candy cane, right? And here, you're riding the candy cane. Girl, I know what you want this, this Christmas. This Christmas. <laughs> yes, sexual indulgence. See, th this right here, it could be that for those that are coming into union or you're just, you know, spending quality time because, you know, the holidays are better when you're together. Um... You guys will be indulging a lot in sexual activities. Mm -hmm. That right there is going to be enough for them to put a ring on it, darling. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Abundance. Look at that. Full of abundance, hunty. You will be spoiled. Not only from a masculine, but if you're single and you you don't care if you're with your masculine this holiday i feel like spirit is really going to be blessing you for all the hard work that you have put in this year and everything that you had to endure and how how hard you try to make the best out of some really fucked up sad situations okay so there is blessings coming your way just like it says here spirit has something special for you guys oh get cute I can't feel my fingers no more, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Uh oh. Someone's gonna be stood the fuck up and you ain't gonna be oh you're gonna be so disappointed. Ooh, I need a I need to clarify this one because this that's some fuck shit right there. That's some fucked up shit. No wonder why that card came out that was like, you still mad, bro? <laughs> Maybe you guys had plans to do shit for those that did. So for some of you guys probably made plans or whatever to do stuff. And they didn't end up showing up or something came up and you got stood up or you're about to get stood up. So let's see. I'm going to use the Mature Audience Holiday Edition Tarot by the Witchery Goddess. here clarify this stood up card please for those that are going to be stood up or was stood up get 
damn. Did you see? It landed right on top of it, too. I'm scared. Oh, shit. There's, there's three. Holy moly. Okay, so we have light my fire reversed. <laughs> You're like, I thought you were going to light my fire, but that shit, mm -mm, I got cold, right? No wonder why my hands are cold. You're like, yay, I'm going to dress up and be all cute. They're going to light my fire. And then wah, 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 stood up disappointment that flame went out and now you're like probably playing with your vibrator or something <laughs> and then five of wands exactly you still mad bro you still mad bro fuck yeah you are <laughs> five of wands is being pissed off honey that's you being mad as shit and then the other card is the four of cups exactly disappointing mad and disappointed and left without the dangling. Oh, honey, that's a fucked up shit. That's clarifying that. That's the best, the best tarot cards that came out for the stood up card. I can't. <laughs> I can't. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, masculine. Oh, but I'm also hearing someone's about to bust a fast one. Like, be careful with those sneaky ass masculines that are like, oh, sorry. They could be testing you like, sorry, I can't, I can't make it. And then they're watching your reaction through the fucking window and shit. And then ding dong. And you open the door and you just want to kill them. And you're like, oh, I cannot believe you just triggered me like that. <laughs> for some, it's for real, for real. For others, they're going to pull a fast one. So here we have, cheers, the three of cups. Yay, let's celebrate. So this is you having fun with your friends. Look at this. Celebrate good times. Come on. It's a celebration, whatever the fuck. Um, either you're going, there's a lot of December birthdays going on right now. For Hey, happy birthday, Sagittarius and Capricorns. Yes. Get together. It's gonna be so nice. Better than ever. That's right, bitch. That's right. Oh, crap. I'm losing my voice. Okay. Oh, honey. We have the Ace of Cups and Temperance. It says, don't exert yourself. And then let me taste you with the Ace of Cups. <gasps> that is so funny, right? Because you're like, um, hello. I got a sweet tooth. Get in my mouth. Got a sweet tooth. And here we have, let me taste you. And then there's, there's the little candy cane again. And so with the Temperance card, it's about patience. It's about be patient, honey. Don't get mad. It's coming. It's coming. Your ace of cups is coming. Don't exert yourself, okay? And it's also about restoring something that was once lost. Yes, I love that. This could be, this could literally also be you here spending time uh, or spending the, uh, the New Year's. I'm picking up New Year's energy with that, with the cheers card, the three of cups and the ace of cups. And for some, this is just you by yourself, enjoying it and not worrying about no motherfucker. <laughs> exact, exactly, bitch. Exactly. All right, let's see. All right, let's put this aside. Actually, I'll put that, I'll put that there. I'll put that back. All right, let's go ahead and reshuffle and I'm gonna pull cards, some more cards. And then we'll move on to the Snowflix Oracle. Oh, yes, I'm giving you a cuddle for Christmas. Cuddle buddy, someone has a big old bear. I I don't know why I picture you in back of the of the this kid here, this dude or whoever. Maybe you've got a little uh a Christmas lover. Someone has a little Christmas lover, a little uh how do I say it? Pup, not puppy love, but it's more of, um, oh, let, let, let's just be today lovers. Like you're my today love. Not my everyday love, my today love. And you're just enjoying each other. <laughs> Watch it be your gay best friend. <laughs> oh shit, we got fighting. Uh-oh. Somebody's gonna be not happy this holiday. It's probably because you might be cuddling up with somebody else. <laughs> Either you with someone else or them with someone else. But there is some fighting going on and it could be connected to the stood up card or not. 
Let's clarify the fighting card. Look at that. We have message, incoming message, incoming happy message coming in. Okay. So I feel like this is three different energies. Let's pull cards here on these three different energies. Give me a card for cuddle buddy, fighting, and incoming happy message. The Christmas tree. What does this mean? Well, we had the Christmas tree here, which was abundance. Okay. So it could be that this cuddle buddy is going to be someone that you spend the holidays with or a best friend that you just cuddle with because either they're going through something and they don't want to be alone and you're going through something and you don't want to be alone. And that's why we have, you know, fun with friends here, whether they're male or female, you could have a best friend that you know, you guys are just making the most out of it and you're not going to be alone because this person cares about you as much as you care about them. What, well, like I said, whether they're male or female, okay? Um, <clears throat> so let's get some more messages here. Oh, shoot. And that Christmas tree, I, I feel like it's also connected to, hey, let's, let's, go, let's go do something festive. Let's go pick out a Christmas tree together, you know? Um, for those that are late, the, the late Christmas tree hunters, I, I told myself I was going to go get a, a real tree. I haven't even done that shit. Light my fire came out again. The ace of wands. Look at this shit. <laughs> this, this time it's upright. And look, remember how it was reversed the last time where the stood up card came out? Maybe that's what you guys were fighting about. Like, hey. You didn't want to light up my fire. I got ready for you. You stood me up. That's fucked up. Like, how are you going to do this around the holidays? Like, I was really looking forward to meeting up with you or whatever. It could also mean that your DM might hit you up talking about that they're fighting with their karmic or whatever. And you're just like, and? <laughs> Nine of Pentacles, let's have some fun. Why did I hear Lady Gaga? Let's have some fun, na, 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 na. Come and take a ride on my disco stick or my candy cane stick, like it says here, right? Candy cane stick. But anyways, this Nine of Pentacles here could be that perhaps you're just like fighting and you become single. Some of you guys are separating and breaking up with someone that's just been in and out and you're just tired of it. You're tired of their in and, in, in and out bullshit and you're liberating yourself you might even meet someone new along the way and you're like, damn, that's all it took? That's it. Ooh, the Knight of Wands, honey. That's the incoming happy message. You might get a message from a fire sign, okay? It could be any sign, but this, this Knight of Wands here is a masculine approaching you with, with uh, ambition, with, with desire, with passion, with love. Like, hey, I want to see you. Um, what are you doing? Do you have any plans? And it puts a big smile on your face. Or I'm in for the for the weekend. Or, you know, I'm not busy. Let's go do something. I mean, what are you going to do? It's quarantine, right? <laughs> in that case, you ain't got no choice but to go to either their house or your house, honey. That's, ooh, you see how the universe set that shit up? I see you, spirit. I see you. Like, let's quarantine people. You got no choice but to go to their houses now to have some fun. <laughs> Party in bed, bitch. No. <laughs> but this Knight of Wands here. Ooh, yes. Boom, chakalaka. Merry Christmas, luscious beauty. Ooh, some of you guys could also be in the beauty industry as well. Oh, shit. No, it fell on the floor. Oh gosh, which card is this? Oh, all right, I'm putting it back. All right, let's see. We good on that? I think we good on that. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put this away. Hopefully I don't mix up my cards. Lots of festive little messages there, right? Little tiny messages here and there. Okay, let's do the um, Snowflake Oracle. I need to get a new damn chair. This chair is pissing me off. You're welcome, love. 
Are you guys enjoying these messages? Y'all real quiet. I feel, I feel like I'm being judged when you guys are quiet. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, they're judging me. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, shit. One flipped around. We have center of attention. Ooh, honey, look at this. Some of you guys are, hey, for those that are being watched, right? Let's say, for instance, you have your own YouTube channel or you're a reader. You do makeup. You do creative stuff. You sell stuff on Etsy for all my creators. And you're just out there, right? Honey, you're being recognized and noticed from many, many love interests. Not only love interests, your DM, and also like people in the community that are just inspired by you. You're center fucking stage right now, okay? You don't understand how many people you motivate because not a lot of people will tell you, you know? But people will low-key be motivated by you. And then from time to time, you'll hear, you'll see like, you'll see something like, hey girl, like keep doing it, don't stop. Like you're really good at that. And you're just, and you could be feeling low. This is how interesting the, the, the universe works, right? You could be feeling low, unmotivated, like, oh my God, this isn't working out. You know, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. My growth is taking too long. And then that same day or whatever, you'll start to get messages from people or, or, or comments from people or, or um, just positive affirmations like, hey, keep doing what you're doing, girl. You're, you're fucking slaying it. And that's like spirit's way of putting it, those messages into those people to deliver the message to you to keep fucking going. That's how the universe works. Okay, so keep doing what you're doing, hunty. Oh my God, we have promise ring and we have ladies man why do i feel like this ladies man it's like you have their attention this could be somebody that's like super charming and sexy and you probably pay no attention to them because you're like oh this guy's a player he gets everybody he wants my my voice ain't gonna matter and low-key he's like admiring you from afar like low-key he sees you all I see is you. All I want is you. Ooh, who sings that Miguel, right? All I want is you. Am I singing it right? <laughs> yeah, this ladies man right here. Someone has the hot for you. We also have promise ring. So like I said, remember how we had that winter wedding card? Bitch. It's like, I promise to never leave your sight. Um, or you're going to be center of attention during like a holiday party. Maybe your whole family was in on it. Maybe your friends were all in on it. But this is something that spirit has spe special plan for you. Remember that card that says spirit has something special for you? Look at that. It's like when this happens, you're going to see people like filming you. And you're like, what's going on? And suddenly this, they propo he proposes to you. And you didn't expect that. And you're like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, it could be some shit like that, right? And it, for some, it could even be from this ladies' man, right? You didn't think that, you know, he would ever settle down because he's he's out there or because, you know, he gets a lot of attention and he's also maybe in the public eye himself or he's someone very, you know, he could be an artist or whatever. And there's like, no, I, I want you. I don't care about any anybody else. Honey, look at that. We got tied up. Yes, bitch. For some of you guys, you're going to get new shoes. Who got the new Louis? Either the new Louis or the Jimmy Chools, hunty. I'm not a really shoe. I'm not a shoe person. What type of feminine are you? Are you a, per are you a perfume? I'm a perfume person. I prefer per like expensive, good perfume over like shoes and clothes and makeup. Like I can be a bum ass bitch. I could be looking like a bum ass hoe and then be smelling like a rich bitch. Okay, that's me. <laughs> Wearing my Jimmy Choo perfume and looking like a bum. That's me right there. <laughs> For others, you like them purses or the shoes or the jewelry, you know. I don't really like wearing jewelry unless it's like crystal jewelry or butterflies. That That's it. That's all. Um, but yeah, like what type of feminine are you? You're like, bitch, I'm the dangling one. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Did this fuck up? I'm sorry. Was this like that the whole time? I must have like fucked it up. My bad. I'm drinking my peach tea. Well, not peach tea. I think it's just sweet tea. You a little hot girl. You a little sweet tea. But anyways, yeah, you're going to be hitched, honey. You're going to be all tied up now. Yes, honey. Many, many, many changes are happening for whoever this is. For others, you are going to be, somebody's going to be tying your ass up. Mm-hmm, in bed. Like, you ain't going nowhere. Here we have message in a bottle. An, an, I'm hearing an anonymous message in a bottle. Yes, bitch. Like, this is, this is something that you did not expect. Ho, 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 I come to deliver a message. This reminds me of like the Page of Cups energy. So that could be connected to the um, incoming happy message that we pulled earlier. It could be separate. You know, let's see what else. Some of you guys will be receiving an, I'm, I'm, I'm also picking up that some of you guys will be receiving like an email if you've been applying for work or a position, or or like if you're trying to get into a new apartment or, or ho a home, you will be getting that email or letter saying that you got approved. I'm hearing something about an approval, and you're going to be so happy. I see you like hopping up and down and doing the dance or some shit, like being silly as fuck. Twerking, probably. But um, yeah, you're going to be real happy, whatever that is. I'm hearing something about an approval. Okay, we also have accident. Uh-oh, guys better be careful, especially with this bad, horrible wind. It's been windy, it's been cold, you know, hopefully there's no, hopefully we don't get earthquakes. I mean, you know, we've been getting small ones here and there in Cali. Um, and uh, whatchamacallit, just be very mindful because whenever I see this accident car, it could be something as simple as, oh my God, I left, well, not simple. It could be something like, oh my God, I forgot to take my, or put my candles off and you wake up and your house is burning down or holy shit, I forgot to put gas and now I'm stuck. Or it could just be anything like that. Just make sure you're con, you're really, really conscious of and aware of your surroundings and everything. Cause you don't want any oopsies happening. Okay. Two people running into each other. Ooh, it could also be that two people accidentally run into each other. Right? You could be the type of person that's like looking real good when they go to the store. And that one day you decide, decide to be a bum ass bitch. You run into somebody and you're like, oh my God, I look like shit. Where my weave at? I'm bald. I, I ain't got my lashes. I feel naked. That one fucking day you don't look good, you run into this person and you're like, holy shit. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case, but I see somebody running into each other. Oh, man. Damn. Okay, yes. Oh, shit. Sabotage. Somebody's going to leave the cookies in the oven too long. Try not to. Something's going to happen. You see, I feel like it's connected to this accident. Like, oops. <laughs> like you invite somebody over for dinner and you're like, I got this. I got this. You burn down the whole fucking meal. And you're like, so um, Grubhub? <laughs> Grubhub? You like Grubhub? <laughs> God, you're all trying to be Nanny McPhee and fucking Mary Poppins and what do you call it? Um, <laughs> Betty Crocker, whatever her name is. <laughs> and then you fucking sabotage the whole the whole meal. <laughs> you fuck up the Christmas party meal. I don't know. Be careful with some shit like that. Maybe somebody gets too drunk and they end up, you know, sabotaging the main entree or whatever. <laughs> Or you had one job interview and you sabotaged it. <laughs> Be careful with that, honey. Yeah, we have home sweet home. See, I'm telling you something about an approval. I'm telling you. 
you're going to get that message like, hey, you got approved for this house. Come get your keys. It could also mean that you guys are re you're relocating and you're moving um, and you've been waiting for this to happen for a very long time. And then it's like, as soon as it, it you as soon as you you're moved in, whether it's a new home or a, a relocating your business or whatever the fuck, you're gonna be like, oh, it's gonna feel like a sigh of relief because you're like, finally, it's done, it happened. I'm here. I'm embracing it. That shit looks good. <laughs> I want to eat your house. I want to eat your freaking gingerbread house. Okay, what else do we have here? And that's so cute. Look at the gingerbread outside of the house. Ooh, somebody's coming to your house. Knock, 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 motherfucker. Okay, what else do we have? Let's get a few more and I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up. How long have I been on here for? 81 minutes? You letting me foam at the mouth for 81 minutes? Okay, so, oh, irreplaceable. Look at this. Ooh, hunty. Somebody's going to get a dog. Yeah, we have the giver. Maybe perhaps you've been so abundant this year that you're going to be Sa Mrs. Santa or Mr. or Mrs. Santa because you're, you're just so blessed that you're going to be the one to be giving amazing gifts. And I, I have a feeling it, um, when you were a broke bitch, when you were broke, you felt very upset. Uh, every time the holidays came because you wanted to do so much for everyone and you couldn't. And so I feel like this year you're going to be blessed with the, with the, the, the abundance, the money, the fight, the everything to be able to do what you want, having that financial security and freedom. And it's going to make you feel amazing, amazing. And others, I'm also picking up that you are going to be receiving a lot of gifts. So if you're the type that doesn't like to receive and you're always giving and I feel like you're going to be receiving unexpected gifts from coworkers, friends, family that you didn't even expect like, nah, she ain't going to give me a gift. She, she a broke ass. And then suddenly she comes and brings you a gift and you're like, oh my God, I shouldn't, I spoke too soon. It could be like, it could be something like that. Oh my God. I just stabbed myself. <gasps> See, I got to take these nails off. I'm already stabbing myself. For some, you're going to stab somebody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're like, here's your gift. And then stab with your fucking nails. And they're like, ah, shit. <laughs> oh, you should see my, my husband's arms. Poor guy. Okay, so we have irreplaceable here. Yeah, it's like, I feel like this could be connected to the promise ring. Like, there's nobody else I'd rather be with. I don't see myself with anybody else. You might even share a dog together. Might even get a dog. But, and I'm also seeing maybe some of you guys will be perhaps even moving in together. Sorry about my long ass now being in the way. But yeah, I feel like um, it, it's, um, I'm hearing let's move in for this upcoming new year and just let's start from there. Let's just do it. And that's what you're going to fucking do. So, yay! Bravo! All right. That is it's a wrap for YouTube. All right, Amores. So I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> crazy reading. Forgive me if I was acting a little cuckoo. It's only because I'm freezing. Okay. Freezing. I'm a little here stabbing myself. Pausing in the middle of the reading to talk about random shit. <laughs> Only my Fuego team will sit there and, and put up with me. <laughs> so thank you guys. I love you guys. Remember, don't be, don't, um, don't miss out on those deals in the Etsy shop. Okay. Don't forget to put in that coupon code for them $15 off. And you can use it for separate tra transactions to get, you know, double or triple the, um, the savings. Okay. Take advantage, y'all. Take advantage. All right, amores, I'll see you guys hopefully maybe in the next day or so. And we'll go from there. Bye, darling.